talk about electric resistance. If you haven't already looked at the introductory video, um, I'd suggest you go back and do that first. It kind of sets the table a little bit. But for now, um, Brahm and I are going to talk a little bit about electric resistance. So electric resistance, it's basically taking electricity and running it through a thin wire, right? Yeah, it's a very um, well-known technology. A lot of people uh, have it in their homes. I think about 10 to 12 percent of homes on the Cape actually use electric resistance. Uh, it's um, very simple technology, very cheap to install, which is why it was so um, uh, popular and, and is still, frankly, uh, installed in some places. Big drawback is that it's very expensive to, uh, to use, uh, especially with the electricity rates that um, we've seen increase over the very recent um, past. Um, it has become the most expensive way to heat your home. Right. Very cheap to install, but very expensive to actually use. Right. Um, so uh, of all the options that we're going to be talking about for alternatives, Basically, everything is uh, more cost effective than electric resistance. Right. So people that already have electric resistance should probably think about switching to something else. Right. And people that may be building a new home, even if they don't have ac access to natural gas, electric resistance is still probably the worst option available to them. Yeah. From a cost perspective, it definitely is. Right. I mean, the, it, the big advantage is that it's very easy to install, very quick to install. Um, it's very well known technology. Um, it's heating. So it doesn't provide uh, air conditioning, cooling mm -hmm. in the summer, obviously. Um, so if you need that or if you want that, you'll have to install uh, AC separately uh, with window units or central cooling system, ducted system, um, So, uh, which some of the other technologies that we'll uh, talk about uh, have uh, already built in. So right. that's important to keep in mind too. Great. And one other thing that people should keep in mind is that a lot of people have electric space heaters in their homes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will say, well, it was advertised to be really efficient or it's very small, so it couldn't possibly be using that much energy. Right. Uh, even small space, space heaters can use a lot of electricity and be really expensive in the winter. Oh, very much so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. Um, so that's a little bit of information about electric resistance. Kind of the short story is it may not be the best option available to you. So. Um, we're going to wrap this up, but take a look at some of the other videos that talk about options that may be a better choice for you. Thanks.